Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom from BPAL Picks, Patreon O'Frolic. I'll leave it in the link. You can get my picks seven days a week, all my tennis, baseball, other picks. I have lots of cappers, UFC. I got lots of cappers that work on them for me, and they send them to me. And uh, I send them out to the land, and we kick butt. We make lots of money, and we have fun. Forget the fun. Fun is fun. Uh, okay, I have a letter here from Persine Lavine from Colonel France. I, I don't know if that's how you say it. It just sounds cool to say it that way. Uh, she or he, I don't know which one, <laughs> As, uh, says, uh, why do you not, why do you go, try going right to the picks and then talk about all the other stuff at the end and see how that works. And uh, also they asked me uh, when, when am I doing my playoff predictions? Oh, I did them already. You can go check out the, I did one uh, with uh, the slap shot sweethearts. Awesome. Go check it out. I did it in here. Uh, if you want to know my predictions for the Vegas, uh, Minnesota, Tampa, Florida, New York, uh, New York Islanders, and Pittsburgh, just look at my picks video previous to this one, and it tells you all that there. And today, at the end of this, I'm going to give you – today I'm going to give you the picks for the 16th. For the games, and I'm also going to do series picks. And then after that, maybe you're right. Maybe I will save all the comic funny stuff for the end. We'll talk about Guido, about your letters, and all of those sort of things like that. So let's get right to it, shall we? All right. Um, the first ser the first game we have is the Islanders versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Um, I just like yesterday when I took Washington and the under, um, I just think the first game at home, the team has a pretty big advantage, especially since there hasn't been, you know, uh, fans in the stands for a while. I think it's going to be a big advantage for the, for the team. Also, um, if you also, I really like, I just like Pittsburgh in the first game here for sure. Um, that being said, Varlamov should be in net. I think it's going to be a very interesting series in general. This game, I think, will probably tell a lot about how the series will be. As I talked about in my predictions, uh, the Islanders looked like, actually, Barry Trotz even said that they were going to be, they were using the last 10 games of the season as like a preseason to practice and find out what, I don't know, whatever he meant by that. Honestly, I don't. <laughs> She's in it as a preseason. Now, the Islanders have been known lately with trots, lately, ever since he's been there, has faded in the regular season at the end and then played really well once playoffs start, but this was really the worst they've ever faded. Um, not to mention Lee being out. Um, it didn't seem that Palmieri and Zajac really melded well, but that can all change in the playoffs with the Islanders, with Barry Trotz and the Islanders. We've seen it before, so we could see it again. I just don't, I think this game in particular with the fans, I like the energy Pittsburgh's coming in with, and I like them to win this game. Now, this is the old, oh, look at this. They got it a five on here. Wow. A five on the total. I'm going to take Pittsburgh money line, and uh, the total, I might go over. Oh, no, there's a five. Oh, there's some fives. You can also get a five and a half on bet online. Mostly five, though. I just have a feeling the over is going to come in here on at five. That's got to be three, two would be a push. That feels like the number. 
Yeah, I, I'm going to lean the over um, at 171 there. Really hard to take an over with the Islanders. Yeah, so I, sorry, I thought it was five and a half. I, I'm thinking about this now. I'm, I think I'm going to go over. Okay, Minnesota versus Vegas. Um, again, Vegas is at home. Minnesota should take one of these. It, it'll be really, it's going to be, a lot of these are going to become much clearer once the first games are over with. Um, this would be one of the ones. What? How is Minnesota going to play against Vegas? Um, Evison is a really awesome coach, good motivator, great X's and O's guys. I'm just really interested to see how they're going to slow this Vegas team down. Are they going to try to outspeed them? I know they, they've got a ton of speed in that lineup, but I'm not sure that's the wisest thing in the world to do. And that's what seems weird, seems uh, like St. Louis Blues. The St. Louis Blues tend to wear Minnesota down. They're a big team, and they find ways to wear them down. They also find ways to use anticipation to know where Minnesota's going to go in the offensive zone really well. I think Vegas can accomplish that. And I think, again... I like the home teams here with the fans. So I'm going to go with Vegas in this game. Uh, I did not talk about this game in my previous for the series. So I'll give you the series as well. Um, they are, uh, let me go over here, bet online. There, the series. Vegas. I think they're getting minus 240. So. I'm taking Vegas to win that. If I'd prop it up if you have it on your app to say over under six or six or under, you know, under six or something like that. See if they can win it in five. Uh, that'll give you a little more because that's like 138. I do Canadian death decimals. You're not getting much on that play. But I definitely got to take Vegas So in the series. Um, Tampa Bay. Versus Florida. So I'm taking Vegas ML, sorry, and the total. I don't like doing overs in. I don't like doing overs in the playoffs, but with these two teams, I, I don't think I'm too afraid to do so. I'm going to go the over here at five and a half. There's just so much offense. Even with Flurian and, you know, Talbot plays well, one of these teams can light it up at any moment. And once. Once it starts going in with these teams, with Vegas and Minnesota, it'll keep on flying, I'm sure. So I'm going to lean over five and a half. Not my biggest play, though. I like Vegas money line, possibly even in reg. You might even think about upping that into a reg and getting yourself almost double your money on that. Florida versus Tampa. Uh, again, we have the home team here. I have not liked. I, I haven't. I've made it pretty well known that I haven't been a fan of Tampa this year. Um, I think a lot of people have, you know, br rightly brought up uh, that Tampa is is tired or might have been conserving energy because they played late last year into the playoffs. Dallas, look at that. I mean, they went through COVID issues too, but. Um, they kind of pooched out this year. So, I mean, that's a fair – that's not really an argument. That's a fair reason for them to not play well. But the fact is they haven't played well. And Florida, now you say, well, look at their record. Yeah, they got by on skill. There was a lot of games that they got out shot and really outplayed. Vasilevsky held them in a lot. Um, anyways, Florida, on the other hand, has been crushing games. like. They're playing a playoff style game. I really think that Florida is going to come out hard here and win this game. Um, and again, here I don't like going with overs in the playoffs, but you, you really would be silly not to take an over with these two teams, especially. And this is the thing how much I'm going to put on this is going to be dependent on. I, I imagine they're going to be going with Bobrovsky. So I'm going to probably go a little light on this one to see how Bobrovsky plays. 
he was playing much better down the stretch. If he's playing back like he was at the end of the season, then I think it's okay. But I'm just still not ready to trust the guy. And Vasilevsky is Vasilevsky. He'll hold them in. <sighs> Would this be? I'm still going to go over, though. I'm going over and I'm taking Florida ML. You're getting nice juice on Florida. Are you giving up no juice at all? Are you getting 205? This has gone down. 205 if you go to Interlops or Batway. So those are my playoff game prediction or picks for you. Take taking the home teams, all three home teams in those games. Uh and amazingly overs. We'll see if I get bitten here, because overs in the playoffs are not really as com as common as in the regular season. Uh, Calgary, Vancouver. Let me see. Are they ever going to update the odds on this tonight? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, tough game. Vancouver's on a back-to-back, -back, though. They did beat Edmonton last night, but Calgary's got some rest. I'm going to take Calgary. Um, I'm going to even go as far as to take him in reg. It should be Holtby and Neff for Vancouver, so we'll up that to a two. That's a decent play. Even though it's a nothing game, I just think Van Calgary's going to have way more legs, and they have a bunch of guys there. The last game they played, can't remember who it was against now. I think it was Edmonton, and they won. Um, no, it was Winnipeg, and they won. I said that it's going to be interesting to see who they play and how they play. That it, It's going to show you how many people want to stay in Calgary there. And it appears that there are quite a few players that want to stay in Calgary. They've got family. Calgary's a great city. I live not too far away from it here in Edmonton. Um, if they can make things work there, it's a great place to live. It's a great place to raise your children. It's right by the mountains. It's gorgeous. I'd want to stay there. Especially if I already had a family, I built roots and stuff like that. So I think Calgary's going to play pretty hard, these players, to try to either stay in Calgary if they want to stay there or um, maybe playing for contracts, which Vancouver will have the same thing as well. But I, I just like Calgary's motivation here and Vancouver being on a back to back. I'm going to go Calgary. I don't, however, think there'll be lots of goals in this game. Um, I'm going to go the under a five, under five and a half. I think knowing um, knowing uh, Sutter, he's going to be have been preaching defense, 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 defense. He's going to want to see a strong defense from the guys that want to stay there. And the guys that show that will stay there. So I, I'll say under five and a half. And we'll get into Monday's game on Monday. Okay. So that's my full 42 for picks, boys and girls. Go head off into your lands there. Go talk to your uh, guys that you talk to for your picks. Go, you know, down the alley, wherever. Get your cash, your wad of cash there. Say, this, this, is, I'm, this is how I'm making money today. Because you will. You'll make tons of money. Um, don't be afraid to go over to my Patreon, Afrolic. And I do a show. Five to seven, a pick show starting Monday to Friday. It's Monday to Friday, three to five Eastern, called Perlo's and the NHL Perlo Wisdom Show, and uh, we do picks. Yes, we do. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of playoff prediction stuff. We're going to just talk playoffs. I have guests on. It is so much frolic. I'll tell you right now. We're uh, we're we're busy right now. It's springtime, so we're doing some spring cleaning on Perlo's house of spanking. Uh, by we, I mean all the people that I pay to do that. So I go over there, give them encouragement, you know, between naps, and uh, yeah. So they got they're shining. You should see it's hard work down there. I don't know how they do it, like scrubbing every inch. Sometimes they miss a spot and I have to kind of like point it out to them and stuff like that. But we get her done. We're going to get her done. It's going to be all sparkling for you guys. 
So you can come over to Perlo's House of Spanking when you need that sort of thing. And everybody needs that sort of thing. Um, I'm going to get some new sponsors too, like um, Jaime's Body Lube. They're probably going to be coming on. Uh, and a couple others that I'll surprise you with. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Waldorf's House of Wigs. That's going to be one of our new sponsors as well. Be watching that one. Waldorf's House of Wigs. It's the best there. I said it. All right. I'm going to, I'll see you guys Monday between 3 and 5. I'll have picks for you tomorrow night. And uh, I usually don't do picks on Saturday, and I do. This is special. Special. But uh, I'm giving it to you tonight to uh, commem commem commemorate, commemorate, commemorate the beginning of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Perlo dance. Avatar, come on, Avatar. Don't be shy. You can do it. Avatar is one of my people that go to. Mercer, come on. Get your Perlo dance on. There, there's some of the people that come on my show there, three to five. They're always on. Awesome. Joey Serrano, you're getting good, dude. Joey Serrano, he's starting to get a little spin going in there with his Pearl of Wisdom dance. I love it. I gotta try that. I'm gonna practice that one at home myself. Okay, have a great day, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.